I think the life and story of Charlie Parker is one that suits itself very well to be made into an opera. And it's inspirational, and it's moving, and it's colorful, and it's strong, and it's American. What we have to do is try to tell the story in a meaningful, a respectful way that we don't try to imitate him, but try to tell his story that it really reads to the public. It's not so much about having a jazz band or, or writing a jazz opera. It's about something that might have been a dream of Charlie Parker. I think that that creates a storyline which without becoming a biopic, without reliving the facts of his life, goes to the essence, to the poetic essence, if you like, of his life. He hears music in his head that he wants to abstract, but during the process of abstraction, a lot of it gets lost. His natural talent was to do with, with improvisation, with allowing his spirit to fly. And what, and what he's trying to do here, paradoxically, is to write music, to en entrap music uh, onto the paper, which is a seeming, it seems to me, a contradiction tries during this opera, he tries to catch these notes and, and, and put them down on paper, freeze them, or cage them on paper behind bars and inside the system. Hi, I'm Angela Brown, and I play the role of Addie. Let's just say it, he was a mama's boy. She loved him more than anything. She wanted everything for him. And he grew up in a time where there were so many limits on what he could do. Well, Angela Brown is too young to be my mother in real life. <laughs> yes, Larry Brownlee and I uh, went to IU together, and we were both working on our uh, master's degrees, our graduate work degrees, and he has been a great friend, and of course, you know, the world knows he's a great talent, so I'm very excited to be his mama in this show. He's so cute, you sugar. It'll be nice for us to share the stage in an actual opera. Uh, since our college days, we did Ariadne Neff Noxos at Indiana University. And so uh, this is many years fast forward and, and uh, it'll be nice to share the stage again with her. Having operas that represent African-American subjects are very important because we help build this country. I think it's, it's important that we show people that, again, it is a part of our history as Americans and not just an African-American story. However gritty or beautiful they may end up being, they're important stories to the American quilt, to the fabric of America. And I'm very proud to be a part of this project. Uh, one of my loves is um, Latin, jazz, and uh, other influences of music in that style. And so I know that Daniel has, you know, a good, grasp of both classical jazz and his style is diverse. Uh, Daniel is wonderfully taking many themes, many ethnical uh, subjects like from uh, Baroque music, from jazz music, from Cuba, from Africa, from Middle East, but then he puts together everything and he creates a very strong and personal language. It's not about the, the music of, of, of Charlie Parker in the sense that we have that, that we take the music of Jolly Parker and put words to it. His stamp on what we do in music, you can see in every genre of music. And so I think people have respect for the fact that we're trying to present a story that applies to all.